Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Today's video is about fly shop etiquette, do's and don'ts, and how you should behave in a fly shop so that you'll get invited back. It might be more complicated than you think. Today I'm at Charlie's Fly Box in Denver, Colorado, yes, the Sunshine State, with Charlie Craven. Charlie is a super nerdy fly tire, and he comes up with patterns that work really well. He has one of the best fly shops in the whole world, and there's more fly tying stuff here than I've ever seen in one place. He's also got like fish poles and stuff. He's also got a great website and a YouTube channel with a whole bunch of fly tying tutorials for his patterns. I'm gonna leave all of Charlie's info in the video description, but if you haven't heard of Charlie Craven, you need to crawl out from the rock you've been living under. Swing by the shop, check it out, and you can ask him about that time he got ejected from a drift boat in Wyoming. Okay, let's start this dang video. So why should you even go to a fly shop in the first place? Because they are the experts. Talking to a real person at a fly shop is much better than searching and asking questions online. Yes, everything on the internet is true, but it's better to go to a fly shop for the right answers. A good fly shop will have the knowledge and expertise to help you out or at least steer you in the right direction. This is what they do. They want to help you learn to fly fish. Use them. They love being used. If you go to a big box store for your fly fishing needs, the staff is generally not as knowledgeable and the selection is limited. If you shop online, you're flying blind. You're on your own. You have no one to steer you in the right direction. At a fly shop, you can pick things up and feel them. Buying gear online can be a gamble. Bottom line, you'll get better and more personalized service at a good fly shop. Notice I said good. They're not all good. So how do you tell if it's a good fly shop? Well, do they sell bait? There's no bait here. If they sell bait or stuff like that, it's a fishing shop, not a fly shop. You want a dedicated fly fishing store. There is no substitute. Just so you know, I spent many years behind the counter tying nail knots, telling people what's working, listening to your bad fishing stories. I've been in the trenches. The very first thing that jumps into my mind when thinking about fly shop etiquette is the protocol of buying a fishing license. If you're on a trip somewhere and you go into a shop to buy a license, you need to buy something else as well. Shops don't make any money from selling licenses. You need to compensate them for the time that it takes to help you out. Take a look around. There's probably something in that shop that you need and that you can afford. Maybe you're not buying a license. Maybe you're just asking for advice about something. That information is free, but you should do the right thing and buy something. At the very least, buy a few flies. Everybody needs more flies. Feel free to hang out at the fly shop. Get to know the people that work there or the fishermen that frequent the shop. Are you lonely? Are you trying to find more people to fish with? The fly shop is a great place to make that happen. A good fly shop can be a social hub, a great place to make connections. They accept people of all kinds. They just like people that fish. As long as you're not a total creep, you'll fit in just fine. That probably rules out about half of you. How am I doing so far? Don't be intimidated by the guys at the fly shop. So you're clueless and don't know anything. Who cares? We were all there once. That's why you go to a fly shop. You need help and the fly shop is the place to get it. Embrace your inferiority and learn something. These guys know more than you. Let them help. Or even if you're not a beginner, you still need to be humble. Don't walk in there like I do and act like you know everything. You don't. You're there because you need something. Treat the shop dudes with respect and you'll get the same. They might even offer you a beer. Feel free to play with stuff. Pick up the gear and try it on. Wiggle those rods around. The fly shop is your opportunity to put your hands on gear and figure out what you like best. Mostly I'm referring to rods. Fish pulls, if you will. If you're even considering buying a fly rod online, I strongly urge you not to do that. Go to a fly shop, cast a bunch of rods, one at a time, not all at the same time, and find the one that is right for you. That is the only way Way to buy a fly rod. You must cast them first. The shop has a bunch of lines and reels ready to go so you can go outside and cast a bunch of rods and figure out which one is best for you. Also, these guys would love to get out of the shop for a minute and get some fresh air. One thing I encourage you to do is show up with some beer. All good fly shops have a beer fridge and beer can be a bit of an informal social currency. If you want to call it a bribe, I won't argue with that. Look at it this way. People are coming into the fly shop all day, every day, asking for advice and places to fish. The shop guys are just regurgitating the same two spots to everyone. A six pack, or even a 12 pack changes the whole dynamic. I guarantee that if you bring some beer for the boys, they'll tell you a better place to fish. Or maybe if they like you, you might get invited for the evening session after the shop closes. Wouldn't that be something? You can finally be part of the gang. This is what you want. This is what you should strive for. And it doesn't have to be beer. I know not everyone drinks beer. You can show up with a pizza, some smoked ribs, fried chicken, whatever. Bring something for the shop dudes. They will remember you and get to know you that way. Okay, let's go over a few things not to do. Don't walk into a fly shop and immediately destroy the bathroom. 
This happens way too much. We know what you're doing in there, and you're not gonna get that free fly after you buy a dozen, and I'm gonna tell you to fish somewhere not good. Don't just walk in and immediately ask, what are they biting on? What's hitting? A guy just came in here and did that. They will ignore you, and you deserve it. Nah, they won't really ignore you, but it is annoying. Don't go into a fly shop to check out products with the intention of buying them online. It's selfish and wrong. Believe me, I know all about being selfish. You're wasting the shop's time and energy, and they get nothing in return. I feel like I shouldn't even have to explain this but people do it all the time. And if you're getting a pro deal or if your friend is hooking you up with a pro deal, which they shouldn't be doing, don't go into the shop to cast a rod and tell them that you're not gonna buy it because you got a pro deal. Or even worse, that your friend is gonna give you a pro deal. That's a violation on so many levels. Being banned from a fly shop isn't really a thing, but that's the kind of thing that'll get you banned from a fly shop. Don't waste people's time. Running a successful fly shop is a very tough thing to do. It's a small market. We need to prop these guys up as much as we can. Let's finish it up here. Please support your local fly shop. Or if you don't have a local fly shop, make a phone call to one that you've heard of. They are there to help. Seriously, they're bored and they need something to do besides ringing up fishing licenses. So that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next Monday. Check out hugeflyfisherman.com and stay huge. Charlie, what's one thing everyone should know about shopping at a fly shop? We're here to help.